Now the turkey that she cooked, that was cooked on the outside, golden brown, cooked to perfection, okay? On the outside, was cooked on the outside. But what she forgot to do, This is the Velvet Locks back again with another story time. <laughs> Listen, you guys, it has been so long since I've done a story time. And let me know if you want to hear more story times, if you want me to bring that back on this channel, because it's been a long time since I did a story time video. Now, being that we in the festive, you know, Thanksgiving Day season, you know, food time, turkey time is here. Well, I got a Thanksgiving Day story time to tell you. And I tell you, I should have been had this video up. But warning, watch this video after you had your dinner. <laughs> because I tell you, it's going to change the way you think about eating people's food. Now you already know, I'm a detox diva, okay? I talk about health, I talk about weight loss, I talk about all sorts of good eats, all right, on this channel. Well, this is why you gotta be careful of who you eat from. And this is why it's best you prepare your own food. But when you're going out for Thanksgiving dinners, you're trusting the people to, to actually, you know, be able to cook good and that th they're good as far as cleanliness all right so let me get into this story time right now but before doing so this story time is a continuation of another story time that I did and I'm gonna upload that first on this channel okay that story time is actually still on my weight loss channel but I'm gonna start uploading those on this channel so those of you who like story times can enjoy them on here as well but this story time is a part two continuation version of the roaches okay so if you remember that story time about my good friend had roaches it was ridiculous okay this it was just ridiculous well I'm going to put a link in this video so you can stop this and pause it and Start watching that one right away. So this way you'll be on board as to how this continues. So let me start right now. Boom. So going back a little bit into the other story time that I was talking about, where my girlfriend, my sister in Christ, I went to her house to help her. She wanted to do this charity thing for the women in the shelter, okay? She wanted to cook Thanksgiving dinner for the shelter and you know just bring them their food which is i tell you which is honorable which is a selfless act and i commend anybody that does that who can really cook and put they they self out there for a sacrifice and helping others that's a blessing but that's a blessing when you can cook you heard me now i know anything is a blessing to the homeless but they're not animals on the street okay so they don't just eat crap either just because, uh, you know, maybe that person can't cook, so you figure, you know, ah, they'll eat it, they're homeless. No, we not. Mm -mm. See, when you do charity events, and you do it with taste, and you do it with love, and, you know, that's a good thing. But when you do charity events, and your butt got problems in your house, nah, leave that charity stuff at home. Because my sister in the Lord at that time had issues in her place. Bad issues, big issues, small issues, generation issues. We talking massive generationals living up in her place. Now, like I mentioned in that last story time, she had roaches. Bad case of roaches. In her place I spoke to you about when I got to her door to you know help her bring the food 
over to the charity event that when she opened the door, all I heard was and then all you saw was a posse, a gang of roaches just scattering all over the place, running for cover. So I was tormented. I was horrified. I was scared to go in her house. I've never been in her house. But I would see the roaches waiting at the window, at the door, greeting you from the outside. So you knew what to expect when you got inside. You just didn't know how bad it was. So I'm not going to reiterate that last story time. Just know it was bad to the bone. It was ba 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 bad okay <laughs> it was bad all right it was just real bad it was trifling but anyways so after going back and forth carrying the food out to my vehicle at the time at that time i had another truck so I, I, i'm walking like a zombie to my vehicle with trays of food that she just finished cooking that she wants us to take it over to the shelter for thanksgiving dinner for the ladies so, it was a couple of trips that I made back and forth to her house, to my truck. Finally now, we get all the food in the truck, and now we're going to go pick up the other sisters who are part of this, you know, charity event, sharing food out for the homeless ladies in the shelter for Thanksgiving. All right. So now we did our rounds. Everybody's in the truck. Boom. We go to the shelter. So now we're at the shelter. Okay, we're at the shelter. We find out where we got to set up. All right. Mind you, I'm only there to help. I transported the food. All right. Now I'm going to help set up the stuff. So, mind you now, we're setting up the table. We're organizing the food on the table and everything. Now, mind you, this sister wanted to do it all, so she did it all. She cooked everything. The rice and peas, the turkey, the greens or whatever veggies she had going on. She did a whole big Thanksgiving spread. Okay? My worries was... Was there any roaches that was going to be popping up out of the things as we unfolded them? So, we unfolded this stuff. Set up the table, not one roach in sight. All right, thank you, Jesus. So anyways, now, one of the other sisters said, okay, let's start serving the food to the ladies, because now the ladies, they're happy now. They're excited that somebody took the time out of their day to do a selfless act, to cook food, real food, not no schooly food, not that lunchroom school food. We talking about someone took the time to go in their house and cook, all right? Food smelled good, so you just thinking, whoa, ho, I'm going in, okay? I'm going to enjoy this food today. So the sister asks, okay, let's start, you know, serving the food. But before serving the food, we spread it out on the table, unwrapped it, made a nice little presentation until when it was time to put the serving utensils in each of the foils, we noticed something. Boy, did we notice something. Now the turkey that she cooked, that was cooked on the outside, golden brown, cooked to perfection, okay, on the outside was cooked on the outside. But what she forgot to do before cooking this turkey, that goes to show that she probably didn't even wash this turkey. There's no way she could have washed this turkey. You know why? Because if she had washed the turkey, which is Turkey 101 for all of you. First step in preparing a turkey is to clean the dog or bird. <laughs> so that means wash that thing. I don't mean with soap and water. I don't mean with disinfectant, bleach, or whatever. I mean with some vinegar and some lemon juice and water and scrub. Okay? But had she cleaned this turkey, she would have noticed 
this major factor. Let me tell y'all something. And these people didn't even know what was taking place. And this is what happens in the restaurants we go to. This is what happens when, well, you know, the co-workers is bringing them potlucks for the, the, the company Thanksgiving Day party, office party. You don't know how it's prepared. You don't know what they're doing in their house. You don't know if they sit on the floor, you know, cutting up greens. You don't know how it's being done. All you know is they present this dish and it looks good and it smells good. Well, when we open this turkey tray to present it out on the table, we realize that she had the gizzards and the neck bones still stuffed in the turkey. Now all my professionals out there, all my mamas out there that do cook, that, that knows how to throw down in the kitchen, that's prepared these things before, especially when it's whole chickens and whole turkeys, you know that when you get it from the supermarket or maybe even the butcher, I don't know if the butcher does it, but when you get it from the supermarket, um, a lot of the times the gizzards and stuff is stuffed back inside the bird. In case you may want to use it, you know, for another type of dish, use the neck bones for something else, you know, for the greens, whatever, whatever. But no, I don't know what she thought or what she did. All I know is that turkey was cooked to perfection on the outside. But that turkey was still packed with the gizzards and the neck bone and all the other stuff that's cooked inside that they stuff inside the turkey before sending it out to us. So, we're there now, huddled around, and we're like, yo, sis, look at the turkey now. Look at the turkey. You didn't, you, what, what's this stuff still doing inside the turkey? How are we going to present this to the people to eat if this is inside the turkey? Lord, have mercy. One of the sisters had to slide it out. on the sly, on the DL, so that nobody else would see that she cooked this daggone turkey with all the stuff still packed up inside of it. And now they're eating turkey that probably wasn't even washed, disinfected. about how my parents were so germaphobic and, and, and cleanliness phobic if that's a word, growing up. Now I see why they say, don't ask for nothing. Don't, if anybody offers you something, say no. Say, oh, no, thank you. They always told us this. Now I know why. Now I know why my mother said, don't ever eat from the dirty Frankfurter places out in the city. Those doggone uh, uh, vans that sell hot dogs. Because where do they go to the bathroom? Where do they wash their hands? This is why when they go to other families' houses, if that family member don't cook as good, they're not eating from them. Okay? So we already ate before we got there. All right? Now I see why. They didn't eat from just anybody. And that's how I am now. Because seeing how this woman had this turkey still packed with the gizzards and the neck bone and everything coming from my house that was packed with roaches and everything. Listen, y'all. Just know when you're eating from your family, know that those people's have a clean house and also make sure you know that them peoples are clean in the kitchen which means they sanitized their meats before preparing it because the last thing you want is to get salmonella poisoning from eating some doggone turkey now I know 
I already know. If them ladies ate that turkey, them everybody in that shelter was probably in the hospital with doggone, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, salmonella poisoning or something. Because that chick, that turkey was not clean. That, that was not clean. That was not clean. So, yeah, you guys. <laughs> I tell you. My heart is just palpitating. Just the thought. It's like reliving it all over again. I swear. That was some nasty stuff. It smelled good, though. But it was some nasty stuff. So, yeah, y'all. Enjoy your Thanksgiving dishes out there <laughs> on this wonderful Thanksgiving season. And also, you know, I know if y'all know my dukes and grandma dukes and all of them dukes, aunties and all of them in the kitchen, y'all know they clean, y'all know they cook good, y'all know y'all having a feast. But I'm talking about the potluck office parties. I'm talking about those doggone charity events, those doggone places that you could get a free meal. And, and, and you just on the line. No, listen. You don't know how them people's cooking. All right? That's why it's hard to eat out in the restaurants these days. Because same issues. So, y'all, just be safe out there. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And join me again on another Storytime video.